Another big week on the couch and time to introduce the man who's been away all week. He's been away a couple of weeks, actually. But he's back today with another segment of Fresh and Local. Louis Shepard, welcome back. Hi, Fred. How are you? Hello, everybody. I am waiting for something good enough to eat. I've been waiting two weeks. <laughs> what have you got for us today? What well, this? we're going to be making moussaka. This... No need to swear. <laughs> you know what this is? This is An what eggplant. I call eggplant. Or yeah. we call it melanzana. Or, or, or bergine or something like that. Yep. Yeah, so yep. there's a hundred different names for it. So... Mm -hmm. What I'd like about the eggplant is its versatility. You can actually do a great deal with yep. the eggplant. Um, if you have a look down here, we've got a little bit of antipasto sort of stuff happening. Looks good. Yes, and all I've done here is I've just really cut cut the eggplant into slices and I'm simply just sort of toss a little bit of olive oil through it. So you just lightly roast yeah, it. Yeah, and egg. then just, just, just put it on the grill do like that. Do you find your eggplants are very sour? Uh, no, but they could be a little bit bitter. So how do you is that what you mean? The, how do you take the sourness away? Well, I, I would, I would imagine, I would imagine that the bitterness is caused because of its gender. Gender? You're not telling me there's genders for eggplants. There is a gender for an eggplant. You can either have a male or a female. Okay, so how do you tell if that's? Um, am I holding it right? I, wouldn't, I, I didn't go into that much in the research, but what do you I do for? believe. Well, okay. First of all, when you buy the eggplant, yep. you need to get something that's going to be quite smooth, quite with a good skin. Okay, you want it okay. fairly firm. That's the next thing. Uh, the first thing. The next thing to look for, if you're into it, you need to choose show the gender. Agent. Let's show it. Okay, all right. So now, I, I believe that you look at the bottom here, and if it's uh, a deep round dash, um, sh round shape like that that's so shallow, like hole. yeah, it's it's a male version, and that's mm. going to have less seeds in it, okay. and therefore it's going to be less bitter. And the women, the, and, the, uh, the, the, the female, the female, female variety is going to have more seeds in oh, it. That's typical. Okay, and that's going to have like a dash, and it's going to be there. So let's right. let's have a look and see if some of that research that we, we do each week for the show is actually going to show. That's a male. Okay. That's yep. a male. Yeah, no, no, no seeds there. And all you need Beautiful. to do with that is you just need to cut some of the flesh like that and, and peel it like that. And you can see that there's just some limited seeds there. We um, Italians usually fry them up in a pan yes. and eat them with a bolognese sauce. Yes, and pasta yeah, well you see that's it. all that versatility that yep. I was talking about earlier. But let's go over okay. to the cooking there, Fred. I'm going to get you just to, to make up a, my little white sauce. The masaka needs a nice bechamel sauce. And the way to do that is I just melt some butter. Is that can, just plain I, butter that you Yeah, that's, yep, I would just make some butter. And to that, you just want to keep it under a nice little flame. So let me get that going. And I'm just going to add some flour to that. Now, could you just stir just that in for me? Flour? Yeah, yeah, yeah just, it's as easy as that. There's no science involved in it, really. And all I'm going to do is turn that into a sauce and I add a little bit of milk. So if I come over the top of you and Look just that. drizzle that in, oh. yeah, just put that in. And of course, you want to be doing that under a low heat. Okay, you don't want it boiling away like I've got it boiling away at the moment, so don't do that. Purposes of television, it looks beautiful. And of course, you know what you can add to that, Fred? Probably a, a rubbish bag and throw it well. away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is off, isn't Actually, it? Actually, it smells quite nice. Well, you know what you can add? I was going to hope Egg? that you, you would say, Egg? yeah, you could do that, but I was hoping you were going to say some cheese. Oh, because you're making a cheese, cheese. sauce. This Beautiful. Is, this is a quite an easy way to make the cheese sauce. So you go to the website that Fred's going to tell you about in yep. a moment and yep. get the recipe for the misaka. And this is going to go on top of the layers of your lamb mince that Beautiful. you would have used. Okay, so I would have cooked mm, the eggplant nice. in batches. I've cooked these in batches, I've cooked the, the lamb mince in batches, and then I'm going to layer them into a nice tray like this. Let's have a look. Ping! Here's one I made earlier. Oh, does look that, at that. So that turns into that, eh? That turns into that. And what you're just making there, <laughs> let's have the before and after shot, shall we? <laughs> that one, folks, if you believe it, and I do, there's no reason why you would not believe that that becomes that. Trust me, would you buy a used car off this person? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'd probably buy a frying pan off you. There you go, Fred. Well, what okay. I've got to do is create some room. So I'm actually going to go over here. So, Adrian, how's that? Does that make life easier for you? It looks and beautiful. See, yeah, and it's see, actually, this is great because you can make it ahead of time, Fred. Yep. And, you know, when you've got your big party, because you're a bit of a party you wild know, animal people, person. People write to us all the time and say, I love his cooking. I love how it's quick and easy. Yeah. Especially when we're on on Wednesday afternoons when we repeat. Just before dinner on Sunday night, 5.30, people love to cook your recipes. Oh, really? They do. Oh, good. Good, and they work out? They do work out. <laughs> that's absurd. Surprisingly. <laughs> All right, there you are. That's Would you what like it that's is. moussaka? Yeah, that's the moussaka. And if you can hold it just so that Adrian might be able to get there some shots go. on it, you can see some of the eggplant in there. You can see the beautiful uh, oh. lamb mince. And of course, it's got the uh, tomatoes and anything that you want to put in there as a flavour. And of course, the sauce, which is just you yummy. You know what, Louis? As always, you outdo yourself every <laughs> single week. Of course, this week's not one of those weeks, but. 
<laughs> no, it's, it's actually beautiful. Love it. Love moussaka, calimeros, or something like that. Anyway. All right, just eat it. See you next week. If you want more information, right. <laughs> it's on the website. www.westcotv. <laughs> Come on, friend. Westcotv.com.au okay. and just right. click for the links that talk about cooking. Really, it's good enough, eh? <laughs> See you next week, everybody. Bye for now. Are you all right? <laughs>